Thank you, Chairperson, for giving me an opportunity to speak on this bill, Public Examination Bill. See, the dream of any youth is to get a government job. And the purpose of the exams is to get into a government job or for a higher education. Government job, for, say, for example, central government jobs, like uh, bank exams, railway recruitment, staff selection, etc. See, you know, after getting a government job, especially a central government job, that youth has got a lot of opportunity till his end. Immediately he'll go for a loan, he can get married, he or she can get married. See, the dreams are plenty. But in this system, there has been several leaks in the past. I am observing for a long time, this August House is talking so many things, and Honorable Minister is mentioning the importance of this bill. I appreciate this bill is essential. The need of the, no doubt. But we all should remember what happened in Vyapam scam. Let us not politicize this bill. It is a very serious issue. Almost 2,000 FIRs and 200 loss of lives have taken place. And what are we going to answer for this? Conducting an exam is not a joke. You have to prepare. You, you should print, coding, distribution, evaluation, declaration of results, and then re-examination or recalculation, so many things. In this system, that should be leak-proof. To ensure transparency, we have adopted some systems. Self-attestation by candidates, shortening the exam cycle from 18 to 22 months, to, from 18 to 18 months to 6 to 8 months, allowing the computer exams so that interviews doesn't take place, Digital certification, digital work orders is being issued. In spite of all these efforts the government have been taken, taking for so long, it is reported, it is heartbreaking that almost 41 documented leak cases have taken place. All across India, I mean almost five, 15 states have been reported for the job of around 1.04 lakh jobs, employments. Almost 14 million people have applied. And look at their condition. Once their unfair means take place, then one, immediate stoppage of exams. And you don't know when the next, next exam will take place. And the dreams of the youths, millions of youths is shattered. I request, I urge this government, as my fellow congressperson, Sri Sureshi mentioned, that the re-examination should take place within three months from the date of cancellation. Please consider this important issue because the youths cannot wait indefinitely. Until now, no FIRs. Around 41 league cases, there is no FIR, no arrests have been made. We are really surprised to know that there is no legislation specifically to do, deal with these unfair means. And that is why now we have facing, we are now bringing this bill. We appreciate. See, malpractices or unfair means take place in several ways. Leakage of papers, impersonization, unauthorized entry into the examination centers. Even computers are being hacked. It is coming in the bill. I would like to mention when computers are hacked, why not EVMs? <laughs> Let us not <laughs> brush aside this point. You're touching a very sensitive topic. See, when this government is bringing about computer, computers being hacked, then EVMs also can be hacked. So, that I think this government also should focus in bringing a separate legislation. Examination and election are no different entity. 
we have to we have to consider this both equally and important so the punishments are extending from 3 years to 10 years 1 crore punishment yes agreed at the same time when the service providers are being punished the important point is not only the employee but the management team the core person also has to be roped inside the investigation the investigation is done by dsp or acp level i think so when the system is going like this i would like to know this is a very good system legislation should be brought offenses should be inquired if proven guilty he should be punished yes but this is for the central government examination centers alone but i would like to know more than percentage wise if you see more percentage of people are appearing in the private examination private colleges and deemed universities they are also getting graduate and under graduation and for higher education they are appearing in their own colleges or the universities i am not saying all the deemed universities or private institutions are doing malpractices but some bias practices are still taking place in the name of uh, internals so what is a regulatory system this government is going to have to control so we should have some monitoring system where the most talented talented people are deprived and un untalented people or unqualified or less qualified people are being pushed and encouraged by the management so this also i mean the government should think in a comprehensive manner how they are going to rope in the management team also the deemed university people also for conducting exams so this government has brought in a legislation which is welcomable with some things, some recommendations being passed from our side and most importantly i am happy to see the minister while presenting this case is talking about the level playing ground but level playing ground comes when the with the students of government schools and private schools government institutions and private institutions they have to face the exams called neat in tamil nadu we are vehemently opposing this exam neat because the students are trained in the government syllabus in particular language and they have to compete with the students all over india who are being educated in the private institutions and the syllabus and the examination papers are being prepared at the central level where is the level playing field here there this disparity this government has to consider with a motherly nature approach so that see he is also mentioning about so many suicides in tamil nadu so many suicides have taken place because our children are not able to get through the neat examinations in spite of excellent marks outstanding marks in the state examinations level so comprehensive bill has to be passed we support the bill at the same time there are some suggestions we are likely to we are giving you this government kindly consider and once again i thank thank you for giving me an opportunity to speak on this bill thank you sir thank you honorable member shri pradap chandra sarang ji